Hey everyone, welcome back to Guard Cube, and today it is time to announce the winner of my giveaway. So that will happen at the end of this video, but first we're going to go through all the Q&A questions that you guys submitted to me. I think there are 42 in total, so it might take a little while, and obviously you don't have to watch them all, but hopefully it'll be a bit of an interesting insight into me and my channel, and then you can find out who won at the end. So the first question comes from God of Weapon. He asks, hi, what's your main on 3x3? My 3x3 main is the Diane Tengyun, the original one, not the V2, and I just think it's a really great cube. Um, it, you know, it's got really smooth turning, really smooth and soft, nice clicky feel, perfect magnets, and I just set it up with some, I have it pretty loose and set up with some Lubist Pro from the from Cubes UK, which is actually a really cheap but good lube, so that's my main. The next question comes from DSM Cubing, who says, congratulations, thank you very much, and a shout out back to DSM Cubing. His channel is really great, so go and check him out. And his question is, if I was to add an event to the WCA, which would it be? So this is quite a hard question for me because I don't really know about or do many non-WCA events. However, I do think Killer Minx looks really fun, or Kibby Minx as some people call it, and I would really like to get one of them and have a go soon. That's basically a 2x2 two two Mega Minx for anyone who doesn't know. Um, you can see a picture of it on the screen. So I think that would be a good event. And then also lots of people suggest team events like Team Blind, however, there are lots of arbitrary rules and it would be quite difficult to organize. So I think Kibu Minx, but at the moment, I think generally the WCA events are pretty good as it is. The next question is from Amy. So hi, Amy, uh, really great to hear from you. And um, one of the questions is, my cube is very stiff and I can't make the move as quick as, your, as yours. Do you have any tips? So um, I would say to buy some lubricant for your cube or um, if you just want to use some household stuff, then I think vegetable oil would probably work, something like that, just to make it turn a bit smoother. And then um, to turn it quickly, just try and learn some good finger tricks. So instead of using your wrist to turn the cube, you can just uh, flick it with your fingers. And then what is your quickest time in solving a cube? My current personal best is eight seconds and 66 milliseconds, which was a really lucky full step solve, I think. And I was really happy with that. And the final question is, what country would you like to go to after COVID slash lockdown is over? And there are so many, to be honest. I'd really love to come to America and see you guys, Amy. Um, I'd also really like to go to Australia, the Caribbean, basically somewhere hot and relaxing to escape from all the boring, cold stuff going on in the world at the moment. The next question is from Finley McGreevy. Hi, Finley. And he says, what is the biggest cube you've ever solved? At the moment, it is a seven by seven because that's the biggest cube I own. However, if I was able, well, if I had one, I would be able to solve any cube, really. So I could solve a 19 by 19, which is the biggest commercially available cube, which costs about a thousand pounds at the moment. So that'd be really cool if I did have that. And it would probably take me about eight or nine hours. The next question is from Liam, who says, bruh, how many mops in a four by five? Hmm. The next question is from Life About Stuff, who says, cat or dog? I'd have to say dog. Um, to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of cats, and I much prefer dogs. I just think they're nicer, more friendly, more family-like animals, and more loyal. So, yeah, dogs. Leo says, well done for 100 subs. Thank you very much. Go subscribe to Leo, everyone. Awesome channel. And he says, do slash did you like Lego? So, um, I really used to, I used to really like Lego, actually when I was about eight, I think, seven, eight. I used to do it quite a lot and I had a few kits, like I had a big police boat, I think, that could float in the bath, so that was fun. But then when I was about eight, my mum decided to give all of my Lego away to charity because I don't really know why. Um, so then I couldn't do Lego anymore, but I still like playing with it, like with my cousin sometimes and stuff like that. So I can't have, I don't have any creations I can show, but it's definitely pretty fun. Next one comes from Cubing Network, and he says, do you like Harry Potter? Well, to be honest, who doesn't? Next is from Sean Dunn, who says, do you do blind or will you do blind? Uh, Sean, I do do blind. It's a really fun event, I think, and my PB is just over a minute. I got a really lucky solve. I used the M2 OP method, so M2 for edges and OP for corners, and I was averaging about two minutes or, low, or late one minutes. However, I haven't practiced blind for over a month because I'm back at school and I'm really busy. So when I do get time to cube, I just do three by three, square one or four by four mainly. However, I'll have a go at blind and maybe I'll put a couple of blind attempts um, as the sort of backing role for this Q&A video. 
Jan says, huge congrats on 100 sub sub on 100 subscribers, dude. Thank you so much, Jan. Everyone go subscribe to Jansen Pickle. Really cool channel. Uh, really great content. And I'm glad that you like my new logo. And he asked about musical instruments and whether I play them. So I can sort of play a bit of piano. Not very well. I've never actually learned it, but sometimes I sort of teach myself stuff. And then also I used to do singing, but I don't really do that anymore because um, I just sort of I, I never really enjoyed performing because it was just scary for me. So, I mean, I like singing privately, but not really in front of people. Mackenzie says, do you play video games and what is your favourite game to play? So, I don't really play any proper video games like console or PC. I used to play a bit of Minecraft, but I don't really do that anymore. Um, although recently I have played a bit of Valorant with my friends, which I think is a pretty fun game. The only game I play regularly is a mobile game and it's Clash of Clans. So um, I'll put a picture of my base on screen. I used to have Town Hall 9, but uh, I started again and I'm Town Hall 5 at the moment and that's pretty fun. So I play my Clash of Clans quite a lot and I do enjoy that. Next question comes from Augustine Bot, who says, what are your favorite and least favorite events? And if you could be really good at any event, what would it be? So my favorite event is probably, hmm, that's hard. Either three by three or square one. Um, Probably square one at the moment because I'm still pretty new to it, so it's all it's quite exciting and uh, and cool. Least favorite, I would probably say either skew or pyramid. Yes, skew, I think, because I just find it really boring. You know, it's pretty much the same kind of thing every solve. And honestly, I don't really know why the event skew exists. If I could be really good at any event, then honestly, it would probably have to be square one because a it's my favorite event, and b I think it just looks so cool when people solve square one quickly because. The finger tricks are just crazy. Um, I'll just put a video of like Cube Master doing some cool finger tricks right now, but I just have no idea how people do that. And I think that would be really amazing to do. But also, of course, 3x3 three three is a very iconic event. So that would also be very good to be like the best person at the classic 3x3. Three three, so one of those two. Stubwood says, a big well done. I can tell your channel's going to go far. Thank you so much, everyone. Go check out Stubwood. He's not a cubing channel, but he makes really cool roller coaster content, which I personally really enjoy. And he's asked, what's your favorite cube on a three by three cube? So I think this means like, it's sort of like the pattern of the cube, the position and colors. So I'll put a picture on screen now. My favorite position actually at the moment is this four side checkerboard pattern. It's pretty basic actually, but I think it looks really nice. So you have like, all sides apart from the white and yellow in checkerboard, which I think kind of looks a bit more sophisticated than a normal checkerboard. And it looks really nice on my cube. And if you do it on other cubes, you can do some fun stuff with it, like adding flower patterns. So that's probably my favorite one at the moment. Cool question. Next question comes from James Serbrock, who says, what is your favorite event and why is it clock? <sighs> Shut up, James. My favorite event, I've already explained, is probably square one. Um, <laughs> I don't even have a clock at the moment, so um, nice, nice idea there, James. But I am hopefully going to get a clock at some point in the near future. I'd really like the Chi clock because it looks super good. And actually, it kind of looks like a fun event, although I'm probably going to get slated for saying that because most people hate clock. So, yeah, funny one, James. Just joking. He's my cousin, so we're good. <laughs> Next question comes from Alex FG, who says, what is your favorite meme of all time? So... I'm going to talk about two memes. The first is going to be a picture and it's this. Unbelievable. This is not butter. Uh, there is also another one like this. So basically they're like ripoffs of the brand. I can't believe it's not butter. And they're super funny. There are loads. If you search up, I can't believe it's not butter ripoffs. You get loads of really funny stuff. There's one quite rude one that I'm not going to show, but is very funny. But I do like this one too. And then my other favorite meme is a video meme. And I'm really sorry for showing this. Cat lovers, I'm sorry, but... Um, I don't think the cat died. I think it survived anyway, so please don't be too upset. Uh, and it's the Piano Man cat meme, so I'll just play this on screen now. All right, so I think that's, to be honest, <laughs> I find that really funny. Um, maybe that's a bit mean of me and harsh of me. I'm sorry, but um, that's my favourite meme of all time at the moment. Next question. What is your favourite Christmas movie? And mega congrats on 100 subscribers. So thank you very much, Matthew. Uh, my favourite Christmas movie is probably... Um, that's a hard one. So I'm going to mention three, which would... No, four, which are contenders. So the contenders are Elf, 
Love Actually, sorry, I know that's kind of corny. Um, Daddy's Home 2 and Nativity 2. I think they're all really good. Uh, and if I had to pick, I'd maybe say Daddy's Home 2 because it's still pretty new and it's pretty funny. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I really like Will Ferrell. He's quite funny. So that's probably my favourite Christmas movie at the moment. Will Wright says, have you ever rapped before? I have rapped before. Um, <laughs> let's not go down that route. If you really want to see me rapping, if you type in the channel Nuclear Penguins and you have a look through some of their videos, you will find me rapping at some point, but I'm not going to say exactly which one and I'll make it a bit of a challenge for you to find me rapping because it's pretty embarrassing. Next, from Cam the Cuba, who asks, how do you like your eggs? <laughs> um, funny random question, Cam. I like my eggs poached generally. Poached eggs are super good. Uh, scrambled eggs are nice too. How do you like your eggs? Go subscribe to Cam the Cuba, guys. He's a cool channel. And next one comes from Noon But Ark, who asks, or no one but Ark, so I'm sorry, I don't really know how we're pronouncing that. How long have you been cubing for, and why did you start cubing in the first place? So I've now been cubing for, I think, 10 months. I started in like pretty much in the new year of this year, and I started cubing mainly because I thought it looked really fun. There were a few different reasons. So I had a friend at school uh, who actually submitted a question earlier who is who was a cuber. He doesn't really cube anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but he was a really good cuber and that kind of inspired me because I just think I just thought, wow, this is really cool and I want to have a go at this. So that's one reason. And then also my cousin who has also submitted a Q&A question on this video, um, that was James Serbrock. He also knew how to solve the cube, although he wasn't a speed cuber and only now is he finally a speed cuber. Um, averaging about 25 seconds. So um, those two people mainly were what made me want to get into cubing. But there's also a fun little story behind it, which I will talk about later, because I'm pretty sure there's another question like this. So yeah, Ollie Brown asks, how long have you been cubing? I've just answered this. Um, I've been cubing for about 10 months. And on my sort of one year cubing anniversary, I'll have a special video and you can wait and see about that in the new year. Palud E says, congrats on 100 subs. Thank you. And how many cubes do you have? Now, to be honest, I'm not totally sure. I have every WCA event apart from Clark. So that is um, 10 cubes. And then I've got a load of other cubes um, in a box. So I've probably got about 25 at the moment. Um, but I will make a video showing my cube collection once I have a few more cubes. In fact, I might even make that my uh, one year of cubing anniversary special once I hopefully have a few more cubes after Christmas and buy some cubes with my Christmas money. So hopefully I could build up some non-WCA puzzles and get a clock. Yeah Boy also asks, how many cubes do you currently own? So same question, somewhere in the mid twenties, um, but I will recount once I get a few more and do a big cube collection video at some point. Next question is from Jeff who says, how much do you cube per day? And also thank you for the congratulations. Um, on an ideal day, I probably cube for about three, three and a half hours. Um, but usually my parents don't really like me cubing too much. So uh, on, on a school day, I don't cube at all. On a school weekend, like a Sunday, maybe two hours. And in the holidays, yeah, three or four would be ideal. And during lockdown, I was cubing loads because to be honest, I cubed a bit during online lessons and um, I was inside all the time, so I got pretty good actually. And that was when I started doing a lot of blind because I just had time on my hands. I'd get up early and do some blind attempts. So um, back then it was probably more like five hours a day. But yeah, now maybe about three hours on an ideal day. Cameron Langham says, Lemon Boy or 160416. If you're not sure, this is referencing some songs. So you can type in either of these songs on YouTube. And um, I would say Lemon Boy, it's a pretty good song, kind of got a bit of an indie vibe to it, and I quite like it. FC3x3 says, when will you make a mains and goals video? Well, probably once there's a competition back on, because it makes it makes sense to do mains and goals before a competition comes up. So maybe, hopefully at some point next year, maybe in the spring, there'll be some competitions on again, and I'll go to my first ever competition, and I would make a mains and goals video before that. FC Gaming says, what are your PBs for each event? So... Um, I don't know them all off by heart necessarily. I'm just going to click onto my CS timer to have a look at my current ones, but my CS timer did get wiped a while ago. So at the moment, my 2x2 PB is 1.82 seconds. 3x3 is 8.66. 4x4 
Square one is 2886, although I'm sure I had a sub 25 before I got reset. Three blinds uh, was, I think, 118. I think that's on my channel somewhere. Skew, I have no idea, honestly, because I don't practice. Four by four, my best is 57 seconds. I think I have two or three sub one minute solves. Five by five is two minutes and eight seconds. Six by six is four minutes and 54 seconds. Seven by seven is just under nine minutes with eight. 59. Megaminx, I did have a couple of sub two minute solves. I think my best was like 156, but at the moment my session is reset and I've only done like two solves. Pyraminx, I think my best was just under five seconds. One handed, I think my best was about 28 seconds, but at the moment it's 31 on my session. And I think that's all the events that I have done or do. Um, I mean, I can have a look at Skew and see if it has one on there. No, it, it has 904, which I know is definitely not my PB because at one point I had an average of five that was quicker than that. So, yeah. Okay, Max Marshall says, what are your future goals for your channel? And I think we have a few of these. We also have the same question from some other people possibly. So um, I'll put them on screen. So my future goals for my channel, to be honest, are quite indefinite. I don't really know. I just want to keep making videos. Until it's, enjoy until it's not fun anymore. So as long as it's enjoyable and I'm having fun and I feel like my content is enjoyable, I'll keep making videos. So as a goal, I would say I'd like to get 250 subscribers. I think that would be really cool. Um, you know, a quarter of a thousand would be quite a nice number to have. So 250 subscribers and maybe up to 5,000 hours of watch time. And I'm at about 3,000 at the moment. So yeah, that would be good. And... Yeah, just, just see how it goes, really. Bra Memento says, what are your other hobbies other than cubing? So I like photography. I have a DSLR camera that I use to shoot my YouTube videos. And I also like photo and video editing. That's pretty fun. Um, other than that, as I've said, I like a little bit of gaming and sometimes play a little bit of recreational piano. Um, yeah, just thinking if there's anything else. Um, I do do a couple of sports that I quite like, so I like playing squash and I do fencing, which is pretty unique, but is really fun. So uh, they're not necessarily hobbies, but just sports that I do. And that's the main things that I enjoy doing. I also like reading sometimes when I get some free time. Your local Felix, nice name, asks, what budget 3x3 is best in your opinion? And to be honest, I don't really know. At some point in the future, I'm hoping to make a budget 3x3 comparison with a load of different ones, maybe after Christmas at some point, but I haven't actually tried any of the recent budget 3x3s or any actual branded ones. So, I mean, I've heard from word of mouth that the RS3M 2020 is pretty amazing. And also the Maylong M, uh, also the Qi MS uh, and the Yushin Little Magic M. So pretty much, I think pretty much all budget cubes that have come out recently from major retailers that are magnetic are good. So. I'd pretty much take your pick and just try one out because they're all under £10, I'm pretty sure. So have a go, maybe get a couple and see which one you favour. DSM Cubing says, which event would you add to the WCA? Which is the same question I had from him earlier. So sorry, guys, I've accidentally got a duplicate of this in here. I said Killerminx or Kibbyminx, but I've just been thinking and I decided that it might be fun to add two blind. However, the only problem with two blind is that some people are able to one look CLL solves uh, so or, or EG solves. So that would kind of be unfair because they wouldn't actually be using blind method. However, if you restricted it so that people had to use blind method, I think that could be quite fun. MD Wada says, what actually got you interested in being a speed cuber? And I want to give a quick shout out to MD Wada or D as he's known, because he's a great support to the channel and advertises me, which is pretty cool. And what got me interested in being a speed cuber, as I mentioned earlier, was my friend Liam and my cousin James. So those are the main reasons. I'd also seen a video of Felix's world record and I just I just thought, wow, that's absolutely crazy. And when I reflect on me being sort of like a speed cuber now, I remember a time at my old school when I was about, I don't know, I was probably about 11 and someone in the top year had a Rubik's cube, a Rubik's brand that they had put some some kind of oil lubricant in and they were turning it what I thought was really quickly and they managed to solve this cube in like 55 seconds and I was just amazed because to me that was absolutely impossible and 
I just thought that was so cool. And so that seems quite funny to me now, looking back, because obviously now 55 seconds is pretty slow and I'm solving in like 12, 13 seconds. So that's pretty funny how I was so amazed. And I think it just shows that anyone can actually do cubing. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be really good at maths. Just try it out. Go over to YouTube, watch j tutorial and just keep trying. And it's really fun and you can do it. Sneakier says, what inspired you to be the great cuber you are, KJ? So um, it's kind of similar question again. My friend, my cousin, uh, seeing videos of people solving the cube, watching other people do it really quickly and thinking, wow, that's amazing. Uh, so that, that's most of the stuff, really. Thanks for that, KJ. Um, Joven asks, what inspired you to become a cuber? So another one of these similar questions. I think I've already answered this, so I'm going to move on. Kit Sharkey says, what is your favourite cube? So I'm not sure if this means favourite events or favourite like piece of cubing hardware. So I'm going to interpret as favourite piece of cubing hardware. And for that, I would say the MGC 4x4. It's really, really nice. I recently got it and it's made me actually get interested in doing 4x4. And I've really been enjoying solving on it using the Yao method and getting some sub one solves. So that's my favourite cube at the moment. Arthur Karitsonov says, what is your goal for this channel? <laughs> Shout me out, please. I love your videos so much. I'm your number one fan. Hi, Arthur. Thank you so much for the Q&A question. Massive shout out to you. Thank you for being my number one fan. Uh, so my goal for this channel, I answered earlier. Just want to try and keep it going for as long as I can, really, until it's not fun anymore. And just see where it takes me. See how far I get. JRC says, what is your main cube for 3x3? I also answered this earlier. It's the Diantengian 3x3. Which type of puzzle do you enjoy solving the most? This is an anonymous question from a friend of mine who did not want to, their name to be mentioned. Um, I would probably say the square one. I mentioned this earlier, but also three by three, four by four and five by five. So those are my favorite types of puzzles. Um, and in a more generic sort of theme, WCA puzzles are definitely my favorite to solve because they just have more meaning to me than non-WCA. And I would also say within WCA puzzles, I prefer cube cube shapes puzzles. So basically not Pyraminx or Megaminx. And also not really skew because it's not, not totally cube shaped. Axiomatic says, when will this perpetual disaster end so that my crippling self deprivation can finally cease? So um, this is a friend of mine. So I'm gonna have to interpret this as sarcasm and hope that he's not actually induce I'm, my videos are not inducing self-deprivation upon him um, but if i take it seriously when will this end well guard cube will end when it's not fun anymore and when i burn out so i don't really mind if that happens it's not a massive issue but hopefully it won't be for it'll be hopefully i can keep making videos for a while before that happens shreyash's cubing world says who is your favorite cuber um, this is a really interesting question, and I'm not actually totally sure about who my favourite cuber is. Um, I think I would say Asher Kim Ajirik, because he's about my age, and I just think he's really, really amazing and cool at cubing, because he's just so good. He's like averaging like six seconds on square one and about eight seconds on three by three, I think, or maybe even quicker, which for someone who's 14 is just pretty amazing. But also Leo Borromeo, even younger, he's like 11 and getting like five, four, three second solves even on three by three, which is just absolutely crazy. So I tend to favour the up and coming stars of the future, but also my favourite Cuba. I could not discuss this topic without mentioning my absolute favourite Cuba, the legend himself, Timon Koloszynski, who I just think is such a legend. I just think he's brilliant at cubing. And I'm just going to show my favorite clip of him ever right now so how much do you cube in a day <laughs> so he cubes much, all the time i just think that's brilliant even when he's well like every, every time apart from when he's eating and sleeping i just think that's really funny and um he's just a bit of a legend in the cubing world and a bit of an icon so team on the tiger you're the best Next comes from Joel Jacob, who says, why do you do cubing? So um, pretty broad question there. I do cubing because I think it's fun, uh, because I enjoy doing it, because it's my hobby and there's a community of people that I can do it with, and because it's competitive and I like competitions. 
and also because I feel like it is actually somewhat good for me. You know, improves improves my memory and my recall speed, strengthening neural connections. So mainly just because it's fun and because I enjoy the nature of it. Yeet Us says, will you answer this question? Well, to quote Japer, Yes, because no would be a paradox. True wisdom from the words of J Perm. J Perm is just such a champ. I just love J Perm. His channel is awesome. All right, JJ Plays says yes or no. No. And that is it, guys. We're going to finish on that ridiculous yes or no question. What a question to finish on. Thank you so much for asking questions. We've gone through all 42 questions there, which is really great, although some of them were kind of repeats of other ones. So hopefully you enjoyed that and learned a bit more about me and about my cubing. And now I will choose the giveaway winner. Okay, everyone, I'm on the random comment picker website. I've put in my URL. I'm going to filter duplicate users and let's get a winner. So, wow, we have 41 unique commenters. And now let's pick someone. Let's start the draw. Who's it going to be? DSM Cubing. So huge congratulations, DSM. Uh, give a massive shout out right now to DSM. So well done, you. And you will get the £15 gift card. So uh, contact me on Discord because I know you're on Discord. And uh, I'll send you the gift card. Well done.